I'm in a garden at Kevin Cribble near Bridge End, and behind me is this rather elaborate structure. Now, I'm not telling you at the moment exactly what it is. What I can say, as you'll see, there's a bit of a job to get it up. Mike Butler is a keen radio ham. His hobby has enabled him to contact people in 157 different countries worldwide. But to get the best signal, his aerial needs to point in the right direction. Sadly, an operation hampered by the overhead phone line crossing his garden. In daylight, it's not too much of a problem. But once we're talking about nighttime use, and in winter there's more nighttime than daytime, it's impossible to see the telephone line. When he put the aerial in the garden, Mike didn't realise the phone line would become such a problem. And to raise it safely, he has to go through a series of delicate manoeuvres to get it just right. And when you're having to run back and forth and tilt it to get it past the, the wire to get it up, how frustrating is that? A lot. It's tiring as well, because as you notice, I'm not, I'm, not exactly, I'm not exactly a fit man. And, that, and uh, it can be a nuisance going backwards and forwards because lowering it, it's got to be exactly the right position because if it's not, you can end up bending the element of the aerial and that's 650 quid of aerial. Mike contacted BT Openreach. One option was to move the line, serving his neighbour, to a further corner of that house free of charge, but the neighbour refused. The next option was to run the line round a new pole at the edge of the garden. Mike says no one mentioned a charge, but he was in for a shock. You put a pole there, run that line round the angle, and it's completely clear yeah. of, of your garden, mm -hmm. and you've got complete scope. And doesn't cross the neighbour's garden. Yeah, it doesn't cross along the line of the fence. No, it's no problem to your neighbour. It's yeah. absolutely no problem to you. It's a pole, and BT says we'll do it, as far as you're concerned. But now they want that to do it. £889.35, pence, including VAT. That's only a quote. That's a quote. More. Yeah, so at least £900, really. Yeah. Yes, that's nearly £900 for a pole. An expensive hobby. No, that was the killer. When that bill came through, that was a total shock. Openreach told us today they've done all they can to provide a solution. The overhead wire meets all regulations and was there before Mr Butler erected his mast. The more major engineering work with the pole was always chargeable, but the engineer on site would not have been aware of the cost. As soon as they knew, they wrote to Mr Butler to see if he wanted to proceed.